A lot of first aid kits have a pair of gloves in there, so you want to make sure you put gloves on. This is naturally curious. We ask a lot of questions. That helps us learn. I'm Jacqueline. I'm Ethan. Hi, I'm Melanie. I'm the Trauma Nurse Coordinator at Trios Health, and today we're going to be talking about first aid. Today we're going to go over first aid and first aid kits. Um, do you guys know what first aid is or when you would give or provide first aid to somebody? You would have a first aid kit and there would be bandages, disinfectant wipes, mm -hmm. and cotton balls, and yeah. And what kind of injuries? So anything like small injuries like a cut? If you rolled your ankle, um, if you were playing a sport and you went to go step on the base and you roll your ankle, that may be some first aid as well. Have you guys seen a first aid kit before? Yeah, by yeah. my teachers that teachers? size. They have a little handy kit right there. Yeah. My mom has one in her car. Does she? And in her classroom. Perfect. So there's all different types of things that come in a first aid kit. And there's different band-aids for different sizes. There's even some ice that you could crack open and it'll actually get cold. If you're gonna be taking care of somebody who um, cut themselves, um, a lot of first aid kits have a pair of gloves in there. So you wanna make sure you put gloves on first, um, especially if there's blood. Um, and then you can go ahead and clean it with the different um, antiseptic towels or the alcohol prep, and that cleans it out. There's also some uh, different medications that might come in a first aid kit. Um, so sometimes you don't want to have a first aid kit that's close to like where a little child could get a hold of it. Do you know why that would be? They could probably uh, overdose themselves and get sick. That's right. A lot of first aid kits have aspirin in it. So if somebody winds up having some chest pain, a lot of times you want to give aspirin. Um, there's also, do you know if they, any of these things expire? No? I think these do. Would the ice expire? The ice could expire. Um, sometimes bandages expire because um, the adhesive won't, won't be as sticky later on. And of course, those medications, they can expire as well. So on the outside of your first aid kit, you usually will have an expiration date. Um, so you want to use it by a certain date. Do you know what to do with the things in the first aid kit? Treat them. Treat them? OK, so if you had somebody that had a cut, what would you do? You disinfect it and give them a bandage. Okay. You also, you could use, sometimes there's gauze like this in the first aid kit, and you can kind of put pressure on it. What that will do is it'll help stop bleeding. You can also elevate it up. Um, that can make it so that the blood doesn't come rushing down into that area. And then you usually want to wrap it with something. So a lot of times there's rolled gauze, or there might be an ace wrap. So an ace wrap you can use for a dressing for somebody that got cut. You can wrap this around and it's pretty stretchy. You can also use an ace wrap for your, if you were to roll your ankle or your foot, you can wrap up your ankle. So if you wanna feel it. Well, that's cool. So mm -hmm. if you were to get hurt, what this does is elastic. So it puts some pressure on that dressing when you're no longer able to hold on to it. So you roll that around. Do you want to try applying it? Sure. Putting it on. Stretchy. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure when you go to put something like this on that you can still feel your fingers. Mm -hmm. Because if you put it on way too tight, it will cut off circulation to the fingers, which isn't a good thing. It does put pressure. Doesn't it? Yeah. You want to try it? It's sure. And there's also these little things that you can help hook it so that you can walk around and not have to hold on to the bandage. Do you feel that pressure on there? Yeah, I do. Do you have any questions for me? Uh, if, if you don't have an ace wrap, uh -huh. uh, what would you usually like pin it with? Um, so a lot of first aid kits do come with safety pins. So you would have to be very careful that you don't accidentally poke yourself, but you could take some of these rolled gauze and you can use safety pins. You can also use this tape to tape it, just until you can get somewhere, maybe to the emergency room if your cut is really, really deep and you're gonna need stitches, um, just to keep it in place until you get there. Can you use um, all kinds of 
those for different kinds of energies, like for your bloody nose or anything? Yeah, you sure can. So you wouldn't necessarily use um, the alcohol prep pads, but you could use some of these dressings. So um, these are gauze pads, I have some of them out, that you can use for pressure on your nose if you have like a bloody nose. Um, what are those sticks for? You can use them for like a splint. So if your finger, um, you broke your finger, or it's, um, you need to support it, you can actually tape the uh, popsicle sticks on the finger as a splint. So it's kind of a temporary way to keep your finger or um, wrist, if you were to do either side like that, um, in place until you get in to see the doctor. What if the ice expired and you didn't have any more ice? You probably wouldn't be able to put, apply anything cold, but um, like if you rolled your ankle, you could rest it by what we call it rice. So R-I-C-E. Um, R is for rest, so don't get up and move around on it because you hurt it. Um, you would have to skip the I part because that's ice, but you could put the compression, which is C, which is the ACE wrap around your ankle, and then E is for elevate. So you would just elevate your leg up so that you don't get the swelling in your ankle. Mm -hmm. So that would be kind of a temporary way that you'd have to do it without the ice. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you wear the gloves? Whenever you deal with blood, somebody else's blood, um, you want to make sure that you protect yourself because um, blood can have different uh, bacteria or organisms that you don't necessarily want to share with people. Um, and so that the gloves kind of keep you protected so you don't get that bacteria or um, organisms. Is there anything for like bee stings? There is. So um, a lot of times they'll have in the insect sting relief. So that will help kind of um, numb it up a little bit. And if you had ice, you could even use that to help. Um, and then also there's some non-aspirin that you can also use for any pain. What if you're swelling like really bad, what would you use? If you had some Benadryl, you, that's a medication that can help with like an allergic reaction. You would also use elevating it up. So if you got stung on the hand, you would elevate your arm up. Um, you could use the ice once again, and you would definitely want to go to the doctor because if you get to a point where you're sw so swollen, there may be nothing. This can kind of, the first aid kit can help you get to the doctor, but the doctor might have to do something more. Um, do you have a bigger package? Is like there bigger packages than the one you have here? Yes. So um, this is kind of just a small one that would be easy to put like in a backpack or in your suitcase or even in your car, but there are really big ones. Um, that you can get that have a lot more supplies than this does. So there's different sizes for what you need. And another thing about first aid kits, you can make it to be whatever you want. So, um, you know, if, if it's only for kids, you probably don't need the aspirin. Um, you can get just the size of band-aids that you want. You can kind of make your own first aid kit. Um, if you had like band-aids at home and um, antibiotic ointment like Neosporin, um, and kind of group together your own first aid kit. I saw Q-tips in there, so what would you use those for? Q-tips, you could use it for applying antibiotic ointment. You could put it on the Q-tip and go to put it on your cut so that you're not taking your finger that, and getting um, potentially something dirty into that cut that you cleaned with your antiseptic yeah. towel. Would you recommend everybody to have a first aid kit? Yes, definitely. Because um, you never know when you may trip and fall or get cut or, you know, even with summer right around the corner, get stung by a bee. Um, it's a very easy thing to have and handy to have in the house. What do you think are the most important things of this package? Most important things, um, I would say band-aids, um, gloves, um, the antibiotic ointment, ice pack, definitely, um, and probably the insect and the burn cream. Do like pharmacies have first aid kits? Any store has a first aid kit pretty much. And if they have a pharmacy, they have a section. So how these. much do these cost? It depends. If it's a small one, it could be about $10. Um, I've seen them all the way up to $150 because <gasps> there's so many things in there. A basic one is good um, for 
if, if you don't have a lot of injuries, if you're not always getting hurt. Um, the big ones, I bought one a long time ago and I didn't use very much out of it, so I wound up throwing a lot of it away. So I have a smaller one now. Would like this fall apart because it's kind of like crunchy and... You guys want to squeeze it yeah. and make it work? Yeah. Okay, see. Oh my gosh, it's cold, I feel it. <sighs> so it's crunchy because it allows for it to get cold and then also it allows you to put it like on your wrist and have it go all the way around. So does it get cold instantly? It does. Can you ever reuse this? You can't. Once it's used, it's done. So you'd have to get another one. And a lot of times with ice, you only want to have it on for about 15 minutes. Because if you have ice on for too long, it can start causing more damage than, than good. Thank you for being here today. I hope you learned something. Yeah? That was fun. Good. Good to know that you need a first aid kit at home. Yes. <laughs>